In this video, we'll see about the task. Now, there are two types of tasks in the newer version of Microsoft Outlook. One is follow up and second one is task. So basically, these are nothing but a to do list where you don't have a constrained time, but you have a time limit. That is a particular day and time you have to finish it. Now, let us see how to work on this. So there are various methods to work on the follow up and also on the task. First thing is I'll start with a follow up. Now, suppose if you have got an email and which is very important and you need to finish that email, you have to fulfill that email requirements by particular day and time. So how do you do that? So there are various methods. As I said, the simplest method is first I'll open any inbox here. The email ID is at hotmail.com selected the inbox. And now what I'll do is if I think this email is important, I'll just search the email. That is a way uh, I can say as invitation. This is the invitation email. And if you see, there's a flag status. Now I can just flag it that I need to complete it by today or tomorrow and so on. How do I flag it? The very simple method is you can just right click on this place and you can see there are options given as today, tomorrow, this week, next week and so on. So there are particular times or you can see as days which are given here. So if I select here as tomorrow, you can see the flag color also changes here. Again, if I think this email is important, I can just right click and say as today. This is one which I can do it. By default, if you think you want to click it as today, so you can just, just click on this, left click on this place. Do not right click, just left click on this place. So what will happen is this flag status will remind you about this particular email every now and then. But where do you find it? You can find it in the right hand side pane, which is right now not visible. So I'll just show you where it is. So I'll just go to the view menu bar or view tab. Click on this to do bar. And if you see the third option, which says task. So on the right hand side, if you see, these are the tasks which are assigned to me. So while reading my emails, I also can see what are the tasks which are assigned. And I can show you here, I can just select this email, anyone, this email, and I can just right click on this place like this. And I can just give us follow up and I can say yes, today, tomorrow, anything. So because it is compressed, I cannot see the column at this place. So at any email, you can select right click, say yes, follow up. And you can select the options from here. So I'll say as today. And if you see the option, the option will also be given here for today. There are two tasks which are given here, or you can say as three tasks and notification and so on. So these are the methods by which you can assign a task. This is one method. Now, the second one is in the calendars. If you think while looking at the calendars, you can assign a task or you can do a, uh, you can say as to do list. We can do, do that. So for that, what I'll do is I'll go to this calendar option. And in this calendar option, I'll just minimize this calendar. So I'll just minimize this place. And uh, I'll just close this calendar. There are two calendars which are open. So one calendar is open here right now. And if you see here, I have opened this as a week view. I can select as a day view. First thing is I'll just go to this today. This is the day view that is 27 December. If I go to the work view, I can see all these options. And there's one more week view. Now, when I go for this week view, if you see, these are the weeks which are given in this particular area. And if I want to assign some task based on the day, if you see, if I see something in this column and I think I want to assign some task at this place. So what you have to do is you have to go to the view tab. And then if you see in the view tab, there's an option given as daily task list. And right now it is given as off. If I say I want to open it, so I can just click on this normal part. And if you see, these are the tasks which are assigned. At the bottom, if you see, there I have added some tasks for today. If you remember, there are three tasks which are assigned. So if you scroll at the bottom and see for today, that's Tuesday. And if you see, there's N notification and check. So these are the tasks which are assigned. Now you can also create a task here itself. Okay, if you don't want to go at that place, follow up in email, you can create a new task. For example, I'll just click on this place and I'll start typing. Remember, click on the box in the day in which you want and you can start typing or I can say as clean desk. Okay, this is my task, which I need to do it by tomorrow itself. That is Wednesday and I'll just press enter. So that is the task which you'll get it. See, if you see here, that's a clean desk. The task is given here. So if you see the flag color, which is given as a uh, light red color, which will be followed by tomorrow itself. So clean desk task. If I want to see back again, what I'll do is I'll just click on this place anywhere, go to the view tab. And if you see, there's a to do bar and there's a task same. This is for the calendar. Early it was for the emails. So I'll just click on this task. And on the right hand side, if you see, there will be an option given as clean desk for tomorrow. There's a clean desk option here. Okay. And what will happen is it is nothing but a kind of reminder, which will give me when tomorrow it starts, it will give me a reminder for 15 minutes or so. And also I can see at this place how it works. 
So that's the second method. Let us see the third method. How do you create a task in the third method? That will be much more detailed as compared to these two methods. So for that, what you have to do is you have to search for the task at the bottom. Right now, if it is not visible, I'll just expand this column here. Yeah. So if you see the fourth option I have, this is a task. So I'll just click on this task option. Okay. And I'll get this task window. If you see here, what is given here? Yeah, that's a home, new task, new email, new items. So what I have to do is I have to just click on this new task. Right now, if you see, these are the existing tasks which I have. So if I select any one task here on the right hand side, it will give me the details. It is about the email, which is follow up. It is about just cleaning desk. Okay. So I'll just click on yes. So there's about the cleaning desk or something. So some details are given at the top. If you see, I'll just try to explain you when I create a new task here. So I'll just click on this new task and this window opens. Now, before starting that, if I show you insert tab is the same, which we have seen for the email format review. These are the tabs which are very, very common. The only new thing you'll find is in the task pane. This is the, this is one that's a task tab here. Now, what is the subject here? So I'll say as yes, clean office room. What is the start date? Today is 27th of December. I'll ask him to go for this 29th of December and uh, due date should be not more than 31st of December. So before this, I need to complete. What is the status right now? So let's see the status. It says in progress, completed, waiting on someone else or deferred. So right now, since I have not started, I'll just select as not started. Priority, if you see right now, it's normal. I can select as low, important or low, high and normal. So I can select as low from here itself. Now, if you see the percentage complete is also given here. If I if I try to write here as 5%, if I try to write at 5%, observe the status, it will, it will show as in progress. The 5% will show as in progress. If I keep on selecting till it is 100, if the task is as 100, then it will be shown as completed itself. But the task is not yet completed, so I'll make it as uh, let's say 5% again back, 5% and it will be done. Okay. So if you want, you can put a reminder. I'll just click on this reminder. It will remind you on this particular date and on this particular time. And uh, if you want to change the sound of this reminder, you can change from here. Just clicking on this browse button. I'll click on cancel. Right now, the owner of this task is me because if I want to clean my office room, I'm the owner of this. But if you think you need to assign this task to your colleague also who's sharing your room. So what you can do is you can use this option as assign task. Okay. Here, if you observe due in four days, that means today is 27. So 31st is a due day. So now what I'll do is I'll say as assign task. Now this task will be assigned to somebody else. So whom do you want to assign? You can just type the name of the person. So I'll write as the admin person who's, who's working with me in the particular room. Okay. And now it says keep an updated copy of this task on my task list. So the list which you have, there will be a copy. Send me status report when the task is complete. Right now it is in progress. When the task gets completed, you'll get a status report itself, right? And finally, you can just click on this send button. So it says, since you are no longer the owner of the task, the task reminder has been turned off because the earlier the reminder I've started, now it has been turned off. Click on okay, it's fine. So if you see here in the task list, I'm able to see this clean room office. And now on the right hand side, if you see due in four days waiting for response from the client, okay, starts in so and so all the details which we have filled in that new task, all the details you can see at this place itself, right? So it's very simple and easy to create a task or you can just follow up. There's one more thing which I can show you in the calendar part itself. So in this calendar part, I hope you understood how to create a new task. Just you have to click on this place, start typing and uh, I'll just create a task here at this place. Okay. And I'll write as birthday wishes, birthday gift, or I can just write as I want to buy a birthday gift and I'll press enter. So if you see, I've pressed enter and, I, and I've got a birthday gift here and the date from here also, if you see, that's a birthday, birthday gift that's in this week. Now, if you think this work has to be done prior to, you can say it's not that day, but you have to shift this work here itself. You can just simply drag and drop here. So you can see the birthday gift you have to buy by tomorrow, 28th of December here. If you think you have to buy it today, you can just shift and drag it here. Okay. At this place. So task can also be shifted. And here also, if you see the birthday gift, it is belonging to today itself. Okay. So I'll just come back to the home tab and keep it as it is. Right. So I hope you're able to understand how do we work with the follow-ups and tasks. That's all for this video.